Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the 28th in a series of video tutorials for Unity 5. So this episode we're going to look at building our inventory and specifically pressing a button allowing us to turn our inventory on and off. So firstly what we need to do is we need to set up in our um, input settings the key I on the keyboard which will mean our inventory. If you want to use a different key that's entirely up to you. I'll let you know where to change and what to change. So edit, project settings and input. And uh, closing that there, if you remember we did that with attack quite a while ago. So we're back into this menu and we're going to change that to 20. And on attack, the second one that's duplicated, let's have that as inventory and on the positive button we need to have i so let's head back to our scene so that's now automatically saved we don't need to worry about that at all right this moment so next what we need to do is let's actually create the inventory itself so game object ui let's start with uh, let's start with a panel so i'm going to double click on the panel just to get it full screen so we can see now I'm going to make this inventory appear on the right side of the screen below our active quest. If you want to make yours full screen, if you want to make it on the left, on the bottom, top, whichever, you do that. So you would follow technically what I do, but you would move it to the position you want it to. So because I want it over here in the top right, I'm going to anchor it at the top right. I'm going to zero out the position. And uh, let's see what. Let's use this tool here to arrange it to the size we want. So I'm going to move it and then I'm going to bring it smaller and I'm going to place it um, around there. Okay, so I have a pretty small inventory in this game, which is just fine for me. As I say, you can have yours uh, however big or however little you want in whatever place you want. So I'm going to quickly press play just to have a look how big it actually looks on the scene itself when we're in play mode. And yeah, that looks just about fine. So I can deal with that, no problem. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a text box in the actual um, panel itself. So right click, UI, let's go text, and I'm going to anchor that to the top left portion of the panel it's in, and I'm just going to call it inventory. Let's uh, zero out the position and then move it into place about there, I think. And let's have it bold, let's have it white. Next thing, uh, let's have a couple of boxes. So in the panel again, right click, UI, and let's have panel again. Let's shrink it to size and we need to change the anchoring point on this one to top left again. Let's have the height. I'm going to have my height as say 50 by 50. I'm only doing this one pretty small as I say. Let's have it about there. Uh, right click. I'm going to rename. I'm going to call it slot 01. Uh, I'll leave text as just text for now. Then I'm going to duplicate slot one and move it along to about there. Duplicate again, move it to about there, I think. So you can align yours correctly as you need to. Quickly rename, rename again, and let's duplicate all three just to make ourselves a bit more a bigger inventory and let's bring it to about there okay so when i press play now it shows my inventory as on which is fine uh, i'm going to click on the panel itself right click and rename and call it just call it inventory and then i'm going to disable the entire thing up there so what we need to do now is create a script which allows us to turn on and off our inventory. 
let's head to our scripts folder. Uh, right click, create script, and let's have this as called inventory on off. And open it up in Mono Develop or Visual Studio, whichever one. Okay, so I'm going to, oops, there we go. Okay, so clear everything we've got. And I'm going to use two variables for this. One variable is going to be the inventory itself. And the other variable is going to be whether we have it on or off. And I'm just going to use an integer to define um, the status of whether it's on or off. So var our inventory that is game object. Uh, secondly, we need var. Let's have inv status. So let's abbreviate inventory just to inv. That's going to be integer. Now, the function we want to use is going to be a function update because we need this script to run constantly to check whether our inventory is on or off. So function update, open close bracket, open curly bracket. And we need to use two if statements, well, a nested if statement. So it's a couple of if statements inside each other. So the first one is going to be to check if we're pressing the inventory button or not. So if and then open bracket, input dot get button down, open bracket, and then whatever you put before in your input settings, I put inventory, so if you put something else, you put that word right here, so inventory, and then remember that's a double close bracket there because we opened one previously to just saying inventory, then open curly bracket. After this, we need to put another if statement. Now this if statement is just going to quickly check if our inventory is on screen or not. So if inv, oops, if inv status is equal to zero, and that's a double equal, remember, and when it's zero, it means it's off screen. Open curly bracket, and all we need to put here is inv status um, is equal to one and then semicolon and then our inventory dot set active and in brackets uh, true semicolon close curly bracket and now we need an else statement so if it isn't equal to zero, as we previously stated, we need to do else. And then what we need to do is do the complete opposite of what we've done. So our inventory dot set active is false, semicolon, and then in status equals zero, semicolon, close brackets when the else close brackets when the if statement, and then close brackets when the function, and save. So hopefully once, once we go to our game, you've got the inventory off, we press play. We should hopefully be able to walk around with no inventory. Then we press I. Oops. Do you know what? It would actually help if we attach the script to the scene itself rather than just hope for the best. So, game object, create empty. Let's F2 and rename this to inventory tracker. Now, we'll have inventory tracker because we'll also use this object uh, probably in the next tutorial to keep track of what's in our inventory via scripting. So, then we drag and drop our inventory onto there and then drag and drop the inventory onto the variable. So I got a little bit ahead of myself there, which is a bit silly of me. So let's try again, walk around our game, and let's bring up our inventory, and let's turn it off again. So there's our inventory, and there it goes again. 
So obviously you can have the inventory um, different colours. You don't need to have it the same as me. Um, I'm going to see. Well, let's have a look in here. I think what we could do with trying is um, one thing I've noticed when we press play. <clears throat> excuse me. Our mouse completely disappears, and we press I. And we need the mouse to appear because we need to click on things in our inventory. So to do that, I believe we have used it somewhere before in one of our scripts. Maybe in this 000 area start, we put screen.lockcursor equals true. So if we copy that, and we need to put this now, just in fact, we'll put it after in status equals one, and we'll put false and then we need to put true just there to make sure that when our inventory comes up our mouse is unlocked but when we make our inventory disappear our mouse is locked again so let's press play and our inventory there we go so our mouse is there we can click and let's press inventory again and it disappears so let's double check that again, make sure it works. Our mouse appears, we can click our inventory, press I again, our inventory disappears. Okay, so next episode, we're gonna look further into our inventory. Um, at the moment it's empty, but what we want to do is, for example, when we pick up our ax that we have down here, we want it to appear in our inventory. And when we click it in our inventory, we want to equip it. When we pick up coins that we made a long, long time ago in this series, we want the coins to appear in our inventory rather than appear in the top left as coins. So we'll be working on that. And what we'll be doing after that is we'll be working towards building uh, a new quest uh, involving the inventory. So we'll have quest items to pick up. Uh, we'll also look at creating enemies and some very, very simple AI. So, for example, um, we go into a cave to do a mission and some enemies start coming towards us and trying to attack us. So we have to attack them with our axe. But that will be coming up in the next couple of tutorials. As I say, next one is going to be all about um, interacting with our inventory. So until next episode, thank you very much for watching.